When an inventor file is linked in and base and projected views are created, you can now double click the base view and this will expose the representation tab that we see here in the ribbon. What we're doing at this point is we're actually able to peer down inside of the inventor assembly to see design views, positional representations, and level of detail configuration settings that have been stored with the assembly. We can now force AutoCAD's base and projected views to recompute themselves based on what we do with the representation up here. So in the case of the stapler, a closed or master view has been saved, but so has a partially open one. So if we click it here, we now force the inventor assembly to be recomputed through AutoCAD 2013, and all of our views are now recomputed based on that detail view that was actually stored inside of the assembly file itself. Now, there are more options that can be had here depending on how the objects were created within Inventor. Here we can see parameters for weldments and sheet metals, which aren't applicable to the parts in this stapler, but you get an idea of what's happening here with representations. It's simply allowing you to look down inside the Inventor assembly and take advantage of the structure and knowledge that's in that assembly and take advantage of it in AutoCAD to generate intelligent two-dimensional views.